to our second video in PHP and MySQL and before we start programming in PHP we need to know what PHP is. Well PHP is a server-side scripting language. A lot of people agree that PHP is not a programming language but rather a scripting language but don't worry about that because to me they're the same thing. The only reason PHP isn't called a programming language is because you need a server for it to run on. C++, Java, JavaScript, all these programming languages do not need a server to run. This will make more sense in a few more videos, so for the time being, just follow along now. But believe me, we're still going to be creating a bunch of programs. So here's what you should remember for the time being. PHP is designed to be used with HTML. PHP is going to be our input, and web pages are going to be our output. PHP is to provide us with a ton of flexibility because we can create dynamic web pages. What does dynamic mean? Well, I could talk about dynamic for 30 minutes, but to sum it up, it means that we're going to have two parts to our website. We're going to have a front end, which is what everybody sees, and our back end, which is where we're going to add content such as text and images that are going to show up on our front end without changing a ton of HTML code every single time we want to add or delete something in our website. LT HTML pages are static, which is the opposite of dynamic. They look the exact way for everybody and we need to create a ton of new HTML and CSS for anything on an HTML site that we want to add or to delete but PHP is gonna make it light years easier for us to change the content of our website and if you've already heard of WordPress or Joomla these are giant content management systems that are probably the two most popular CMS's that are used today and if you stick with me, you're going to be able to dominate WordPress.org or Joomla, or you're going to even be able to create a content management system of your own. So good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next video.